Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. Today we're going to go pour a patio that we set up on Thursday of last week, Friday. It rained. This week going to be nice and warm, low 90s all week. I know you guys in Texas are like, that's nothing. It's been in the hundreds, and I know it has. That's crazy. You guys can keep that down there. I wanted to give a shout out this morning to Travis Curry. He colored me this pretty cool picture from Aurora, Illinois. Thank you very much. I've had a few other people send me stuff. I'm going to try to get caught up on the shout outs this week. So, all right, I'm going to take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? All right, I'm pulling into Quick Trip. It's uh, 5.55. We got to fuel this truck up. I'm driving the white dually right now. We got this back from the mechanic, and I'm glad I did because yesterday I took my, uh, my other pickup to church in the morning and then at e in the evening I went back and I had a flat tire I had to swap it out with this I have new tires for that truck they're completely bald the belts are showing and uh, I just start losing air yesterday and the right front but that's going in tomorrow for tires so that's why I'm driving that um, that's why I'm driving this this morning fuel prices have gone down we're at 524.9 for diesel and 429 for unleaded it's getting a little bit better that's good news i mentioned in a previous video that i'm gonna get into doing a little bit more plowing again this winter and this is one of my my main salt trucks and i was considering pulling this bed off and putting a flat bed on and then getting the truck wrapped it's just a lot easier when you don't have sides when you have your salter your v-box salter in there to wash it off when you have a bed it's really a pain to clean off so I haven't really decided yet, but I'm considering that. Morning, Joe. How are you? Okay, how are you? Good. Want to sign the card for Scott? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Thank you. Do we know what's going on? No, I don't think he's coming like back. That. That's kind of what I thought. I'm going to write How's a Coffee Business because he's going to know exactly who I am. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. See you next time. A little yep. hard to do this in hot weather. Eh? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does make it more difficult for sure. Oh, thanks. What's your business called? Uh, Kilkenny Concrete. What's it called? Kilkenny Concrete. Kilkenny. Yeah, Irish. Kilkenny. Yeah. That's interesting. Around. Yeah. Is it just you? Do you two guys? You got some employees? Or? Uh, we got three guys. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I hear that all the time from a bunch of guys. It's funny, it's man. Yeah. Yeah. Make it fun, man. Yeah. Well, the concrete is fun. I mean, I love being around the guys. I mean, everybody already knows the downside of concrete. It's brutal. Yeah, you know what I mean? We got to deal with a lot of different factors, including weather, concrete. That's nasty this year. So, yeah. all right, man. Well, good to meet you. Have yeah. a good day. Yeah, you guys pouring today? Uh, setting up. Uh, setting up. Fellow concrete guy never met him before and he's local right here in my area we have a lot of concrete guys around here we have a lot of good concrete guys too believe it or not i hear that from different parts of the country that there's only hacks in our area well that's not the case here i mean we do have hacks obviously everybody does but we have a lot of good skilled concrete guys around here companies i should say what's up good i'm just about ready to spin around yeah, yeah. All right, I guess now is a good time to mention. Some of you guys might recognize him, that's Mike. And that's the guy that I sold my landscape business to, or the portion, landscape portion of my business. <clears throat> Those were my mowers and that was my green trailer. That wasn't my truck, he's got a couple trucks, but. Anyways, he's gonna work for me part-time. I put a video out a while back looking for a CDL driver and I did get a big response. But he also contacted me and he's local. He has a CDL and I think it's probably gonna work out pretty good. He's going to do his landscaping, you know, two or three days a week. And then he's gonna fill in for me when I need a driver and when I need extra hand pouring concrete or whatever, you know, two or three days a week, however it works out. So I'm excited about that. And then Bugs is coming back. He said next Monday, uh, he did work for us one day um, last week. And he did really good. He did a lot more than I thought he was capable of. So he is going to start either next Monday or the Monday before. So we're going to be back to a full crew. Uh, so we're looking good here for the rest of the, uh, this 2022 concrete season. I did want to mention too, I know you guys don't like me talking, but I don't know. I just have a lot to say lately. 
<clears throat> um, you saw what happened there at the gas station at Quick Trip, me signing that card for Scott. I didn't want to say anything, but I guess now is the time. Well, last week he wasn't working at all. The week before that I noticed that um, he just wasn't quite right. Something was wrong. And then last week um, he didn't show up and, and there were some other issues and stuff. And I don't know if Scott's going to be back to Quick Trip, you guys. He might be... Uh, he might be on the path to uh, retirement now. So if that's the case, uh, I'll have to do, we'll have to do something for him. We'll have to find out where he lives or meet him somewhere because I really not I really never had a chance to say goodbye. And he's been part of the channel since the very beginning. So we're gonna have to do something with that. I'm not 100% sure <clears throat> that he's done, but it's looking that way. Uh, so I did want to mention that. That's why you haven't seen him for a little while. All right, train. I was waiting for the train here, sitting here, but we are good to go. Headed to work. Okay, pulling into the yard. It is 6.20, and Mike's here. Man, Mondays have been rough lately. I know I make a joke about it, but Mondays have really been difficult. I think Francisco's here. I saw a red truck over. Yep, Francisco's here. That's a good start. We're just pouring a patio today. We should be done by about noon, I would say. Should be an easy day. And then tomorrow, uh, we're gonna start a new project, the garage floor uh, removal and replacement. And then Thursday, we have a really big project we're gonna start. It's for one of our state senators. And uh, he's a really, really, really nice guy. We're, we're friends and he just built a house and I'm gonna do his concrete. There it is, flatty, flatty. <clears throat> you can't see right from this angle, but the inside of the tire, it's all steel belts. And I knew it was about to happen, so I ordered tires and they're in. I just gotta take the truck in tomorrow and get them all replaced. 300 and something dollars a piece for these tires. That's crazy. Daryl's here! Man, black shorts, black shoes, black socks. You're looking sharp. Thank you. Yes. Today we're actually pouring concrete. Okay. So we don't need any dump trucks. I just thought it'd be good for you to come in and get your get your feet wet or, okay. or full of concrete. <laughs> so we'll I forgot be. to bring some puddling boots, but I brought tools and stuff with me. Yeah, that's cool. Francisco, did you ever meet him, Mike? No. Francis. Well, he knows you yeah. already. <laughs> Mike. He's a. Uh, He's gonna help us out, kind of like Mr. Bobby, but more than Mr. Bobby, because he's got a he's got to do his landscape business, but he's got time in between, and he's got a CDL, which is real nice. Eric got a dump truck. I know. Did yeah, you see it? A picture of it though. It's brand new, man. Hey, did you see Eric's dump truck? Man, Marcel's here. Morning. Did you talk to Eric? No. It's 6:39. Maybe he can turn his uh, dump truck on. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Eric, where are you? Say it in Spanish in case you didn't understand. Well, understand. Done way. Done the way. Come on, man. Done the way. <laughs> I think I'm just going to drive this, I guess. Yeah. With Francisco. Daryl can go with you, start putting the wire. Okay. I just got to stop by Home Depot quick, grab that tree, and I'll be right there. Okay. He's gonna have to drive to the job when he gets it, when he gets up or whatever. You gonna go with them? I can. Yeah, just jump in here with them. Do I wanna drive? Yeah. No, I don't wanna drive. You drive. <laughs> go to Home Depot. All right. I'm just saying, you know, leave the Are you that bad? You're scared for me to be in no. here? Man. Andrew. Andrew, it's Ryan from Victory. Hi, good morning. All right, I got an eight o'clock. I need nine and a half yards of six bag, low chert, air, microfiber. All right, Eric just texted me. He said, I'm stuck. My tire, my tire pop from my truck. <laughs> I'm just going to meet you at the job. Not good. Why did he text me at 6.52 though? And not at 5.52? <laughs> right? Like if his tire really, I mean, I, I believe his tire popped, but he was already late. Yeah. I'm not stupid. You know how long I've been a boss? 
long time. You get all those lights. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. All I need is one two by eight, a treated. Because I got to use a piece of treated on the back of the step. Because that's going to stay on forever. You don't have any two by eight treated, hey? They're right here, right? That's two by ten. Two by eight, right here. Cedar. Yeah. Just take this one. I only need a little bit of it anyway. I only need like three feet of it. This one's working. That's great news for a Monday morning. Just get my truck fixed and it's not fixed. All right, we're here. This is what we're pouring. <clears throat> this is the job where the car started on fire right there. So I'm gonna set a step right here, concrete step. And uh, pretty much all we gotta do is get this mesh in here, put the felt around the step. And that's pretty much it. Posts are always tricky when it comes to cracks and concrete run one right through here all the way through the patio that one will work out one off of this corner up to there and then angle it up to there i guess you're probably going to get stuck in here you might need to put plywood out because i'm not even trying to bring the truck over there no way I don't need a disaster. Eric's here. He's driving fast like he's trying not to be late. It's a little too late for that. Hey, Mike, come here for a second. See this pencil line? Yep. So hold this here about a, I don't know, eighth of an inch above where that pencil line would be. So that chalk line needs to be a little bit above where that line is. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. He's going to walk right past me after being so late. What happened? Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth, I, I said. I had to park it. Have what it truck? Already, the dump truck? No, no, not. Did you buy the dump truck? Yeah. Have it already over there by, uh, by the shop. Uh, so I was already running late. I mean, I, I believe his tire popped, but he was already late. So I was like this. Oh, snap. It was bad. Yeah? The tire's like pretty right. twisted. All right, that stuff is ready to go. They're just finishing the felt over there. Eric, don't leave that one inch gap by the corner. That's got to go all the way to the corner. Darrell, what are you eating already? Chicken. Man, we just got here. <laughs> but it's cool outside. You got to eat when it's cool. <sighs> All right, we're all ready to go. Ready to pour. Step the set. Now it's all on. We took that one form off. We're going to bring the power buggy around this way, come in that way. We're going to bring the truck in from the road right up here. We're going to stop them right there. I'm not going to try to pull them around. Bad things could happen if I do that. So it should all work out good. Concrete should be here in about 10 minutes. Concrete here. Morning. Uh, spin around and you're gonna come right up there right by that orange bucket right there. See it? That's good for now. I know it feels uncomfortable But Yeah, we're gonna buggy from here to start and then once we get over there with the buggy We'll put some shoots on and do as much of this as we can I always try to tip the trucks over to make a really good video, but so far I haven't been able to tip one I've had our front tire about three feet off the ground. No way. Yeah, doing a foundation. Oh, the man. The ground behind the truck came out and the thing just settled. And That's it, scary, yeah, though. It, yeah, I was a little scared. You're fired! Oh, <laughs> well, they've had a lot of guys rolling trucks and they still have that. Yeah? Yeah. Mike used to drive concrete truck. That was a long time ago, though, right? Yeah, about six years ago. We're gonna go over here first and 
fill up all the way to where Eric is. So I have to spill it there, spill it here, and just keep pushing it up. Make sure you pull the wire when he starts giving it. Did we only get three poles? Can you get me another pole, please? I need another pole. Right in the concrete. Oh, did I do that? No. There, where's your work boots? Ay, ay, ay. Francisco, I need some in there. Just swing your shoot to them rocks and you're good. That wasn't even close. Not even close again. Don't throw no more, you're throwing gravel in there. Concrete actually feels pretty good today. It's been terrible. Today feels a little bit different, thankfully. Well, I got finishing aid if we really, really need it. I don't think we're gonna need it today. The concrete feels way creamier than, it, creamier than it's been. You didn't know I knew how to finish with a shovel, did you? Oh, I knew. Did you? Yeah. All right, look at that. I don't even think we need trowels anymore. No, we're doing shovels, right? Yep. All right, concrete's all down. Edging everything up sun's creeping over here so we're gonna get sun in just a little bit right Eric yep. you like the Sun yep. I don't depends what time of year it is yeah. this time of year I don't like it I got you <laughs> look at that look at it. Nice, exactly all right let's see how it is here oh it's really wet <laughs> I actually don't mind that because it's been getting hard so fast on us. It feels good for it not to get hard super fast once for once. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. It feels good. It feels good though. Because yep. normally I'm running back. It's already too hard for joints. It's been so crazy, man. Why don't you just snaps it in 10 minutes? It's hard. Oh, don't say that. It just tricks us like, That's oh, look how soft it is. Yeah, and then it's like. Creep water in the <laughs> hard on the front top. <laughs> yeah, sir. Made a little bet. I told him I'd pull all the forms and the concrete would stay and he said no. Why would you want to pull all the forms right now? I said you can edge it and get it done, you'll be fine. Yeah. I'm gonna pull the bed off there because you remember you crunched the whole fender last year? You didn't forget about that because no, I, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I'm gonna pull it off and put a steel flatbed and then I'm gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get the cab wrapped in red, make it look like the rest of our trucks. Oh, yeah. You know, and put some cool graphics and stuff, American flag. I'm keeping that truck until I run it into the ground. That thing is so clean still. It's only got what a hundred thousand miles. It's still worth thirty grand. It's still worth a lot. I'm gonna measure this out and snap some lines. Snap it. Can you pull it any tighter? It ain't gonna snap over here. Okay. I'll just throw it. I'll throw it over to go back by the charger. Daryl, bring me that broom handle. I can't reach this one. 
I'll do the one chip challenge. The famous Dave's. Hey, that's what we should do for the uh, 200K. Oh, the the one chip challenge, all of us. Oh, here. I that would start our day. Did you even finish it? I ate the one. <laughs> you better not throw it. I'm not it's gonna make me hiccup. I can tell already. Really? Yeah. Then my phone won't open. There it goes. No, it won't open. It's locked. Security lockout. Oh, really? I must have hit a button. <laughs> no, grab a sledgehammer and break the concrete. Kick the joints. No, not today. With the machine? No, he said, let me cut the joints. Oh, not today. <laughs> no, not today. Not, not ever. Not ever. <laughs> exactly. You might want a little bit bigger hammer. Not that small. We did that whole sidewalk with the little claw hammers last year. Remember that? I wasn't here. Yeah, we used little tiny hammers. We broke the whole sidewalk. It was so easy, too. And I sawed the concrete with the handsaw. Dude, this thing better turn on soon. I got stuff to do. My phone, security lockout. I'm going to change my boots. Showtime's over. It's still showtime after this. Yeah, once it's ready. It's working? Must be, you got a phone call. Oh, right. This is probably a scam, though. Victory, this is Ryan. Victory, this is Ryan. See? The, the, oh, people can call me, but I can't call them. <laughs> but now it says 13 minutes. So I think that call, like, kicked it in the gear. Because it kept saying 15, now it's on 13. Landscapers are here. Doing a bunch of grading. Tough time to plant grass seed though, unless you got a sprinkler system. Because usually July and August are hot and dry here, and it's tough to get stuff to grow. You got a sprinkler system though, you can do it. All right, I'm just putting in the joints that I can right now, which isn't a lot, but they're gonna have to cut a lot of them by hand with a strike off. Posts are tricky, man. Sometimes you put joints all over the place, you'll still get a crack somewhere. It's a pain. Daryl, you want to cut the joints? Yeah. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, I'm going to say yes, but it's just not today. <laughs> joints are super important to a nice job, man. Like, super important. People cut crooked joints, it wrecks the whole job. Even if everything else looks good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that one there, it's going to go, that's going to go up to the joint that I'm cutting and then on an angle up to the corner of the step. So it's going to hit right here gotcha. and then go to the corner. All right. These guys are just finishing up, putting the joints in. I can only reach so much there, so... They got to do them by hand. He's going to try to move that boulder around. He couldn't lift it, but I think he could roll it. Maybe. Or maybe not. <laughs> it's a big one. I remember Thursday I was moving it around with my big machine, and you could feel it was, it was really heavy. I mean, I moved it around fine. He's got a much smaller machine there. There he goes. Wow. He's getting it. He's got a long way to go though. I mean, he didn't get too far yet, but he got like 30% of the way. <laughs> Come back tomorrow, it's almost there. <laughs> He's all out of fuel though. <laughs> what did you just say? I said you get that joint Am straight. I getting it straight? Yes. I just wanted to make sure. Right in my heart. Okay, I'm just kidding. Of course I'm getting it straight. It's one of my pet peeves. I will say this, are our joints always absolutely 100% laser perfect straight? No, nobody's are. There's different situations when the concrete's getting away and you're just flying, you're just trying to keep up. I mean, there, your level of acceptability goes down a notch because you're trying to save the concrete. It is, that's just the way it is. Anybody who tells you their concrete work is perfect doesn't know what they're talking about. I'll go look and find flaws in their work. It's got to be really, really nice every time, though, no matter what or you'll wreck your reputation and not be in business for too long. 
See, that's what bosses are supposed to do. Just stand there and do nothing. And just tell their guys, do this and do that. And look at me all the time. I small because you're perfect at you like your joints. You're more... That would actually bore me to death. I would be so bored if I just stood around and told you guys what to do. Yes. Eric, it looks a little wet. It looks really wet, dude. Look at your knee board sinking. You're gonna make a mess and you're gonna make really crooked joints. Look at that, you sunk in. Eric, you look like Easy e for real. <laughs> wow. <laughs> easy e well as you probably noticed already i don't have autumn or hannah today or the rest of the week they're helping out at our vacation bible school at our church all the young kids come and they always help with that every year but they'll be back next week so i'm on my own so you're going to see some terrible videos very random shots of weird stuff that don't make any sense Just kidding. I used to do this by myself all the time last year and the beginning of this year, but it is a huge help. Autumn's been a great help uh, doing some of the editing. It's been great. So can't wait till she gets back. Unfortunately, she's going back to school, uh, back to college in the fall, I think the end of August, and then I'm on my own for September, October, and half of November, and then we wrap up our season. So looking forward to the winter. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna travel again, probably not as much. And I'm going to probably stick to mainly concrete work. I know that's what you guys like the most. And that's what I like the most too. But if I find something really interesting, I'll definitely do it. But I'm going to try to do more concrete this year than anything else. All right, Marcel's getting on the concrete right there behind me. It's setting up in the sun. Still soft in the shade. It's kind of nice to have some shade today. It's a nice concrete. It's been awesome. That's a big rock. He's the boss. That's what bosses are supposed to do, Eric. You just get spoiled. Because I'm always working. No, I don't stand around. That would just make for a long day if you just stood around, honestly. Oh, he chipped it. He chipped the rock. It's damaged. You guys probably going to want a new one now. I want a new rock just like that. <laughs> exact dimensions. Yeah, you gotta dig through the whole earth just to find one perfect. Oh, I don't think it's right. <laughs> he's chipping the whole thing. It's gonna be a tiny rock by the time he's done. It's only like this big. That's even bigger than the other one. I think it's lighter though. Is it? I think the black rocks are heavier. Yeah, I don't know. You just keep working around with the sun. June, June, June. And then Daryl, you just stay busy over there. Look at Daryl, man. Look at you. He's gonna destroy that fried chicken. Look! Man, that guy's taking a while with that rock. He is struggling big time. Look at that. This thing's bigger than the bobcat. It, it almost is. Oh, those forks. Yeah. Oh! He's going to snap one of them things. You can only pry so much with those and then they go. I'm getting tired of listening to the bobcat. <laughs> it's been a long time already. You think I would get mad if I sat on this rock? I'm going to do it. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Oh, Eric just did the edge and he didn't do the joint? Come on, Eric. Man, this is some nice concrete compared to what we've been getting. This is like the old days, like last year. I'm gonna make a sheet really soon, just defining, you know? You don't show up this many times, you're late this many times, you're sick, that's it. That's what. That's just what it is. I gotta do that. Eric, you shouldn't say, you shouldn't say yes, sir, because you would have been done like last year, I guess, the second week. Yeah, you were. And then I gotta make rules how many times you can be fired and rehired too. Oh. <laughs> so six times, that's it. 
Half a dozen. Half a dozen, that's it. Late doesn't count. Late counts, Eric. Oh. You know other companies don't tolerate that, man. <laughs> Bringing chips onto the patio. Hey, if you could try not to chip it like that, it's landing on the wet concrete. Okay. The chips, thanks. Once she gets the rock all the way to the front yard, and the guy comes out and says, You know what? It looked better in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. That looks pretty good, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. That looks nice. What he'd be better off doing is go giving that guy in the bulldozer 20 bucks. He moved that thing in 30 seconds. I can't believe he hasn't broken the forks yet. He keeps prying them. Oh. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Sticking straight up. How do we get them out? We have to put the bobcat in the concrete. I know. If he gets that rock down in that mud, he's done. Done, done, done. He's probably gonna charge about six to eight hundred dollars just to move the rock today. What'd you do today? I moved the rock 150 feet. Okay. Daryl, go up to him and say, can you go a little faster, please? Daryl said it. I don't think the guy thought it was funny. He, he quit. Look, he quit. No, because he, he got it in the mud now. I told you if he gets it in the mud, he... This was probably the best Monday I've had in a long time. Long time. I mean, nothing really went... I mean, you were late, but that's normal for every day. <laughs> right? How many times did you beat me to the yard this year? Like two times? I beat you once. Like once? Alright, that looks awesome. Really nice patio. We're almost done over here. Just gotta broom it up and get out of here. Hey, you know it's Best Mom Monday. Best Mom Monday. She's about to be pulling up. She's gonna be pulling up, yes. Hey, we need wood stakes, Daryl. We need to stake this and tape it all off. Because the landscaper, everybody's going to be here walking on it. Oh, I know. So we got to make sure it's safe. Very easy. Man, these are some small squares over here. Like nice. really small. small. Yeah. But it makes it look nice. You know It'll probably still crack somewhere. Watch. Yeah. It's always hard with them posts, man. Sometimes you cut joints all the way around them posts and it'll just bust right off a corner. Those things are frustrating. And everybody thinks they got them figured out and everybody has their own little method. And then they cut them all in real fancy and then it cracks anyway. Yeah, all kind of rebar. Yeah. It still cracks, man. This right here? I thought so. This was easy. It was easy. It was. As a matter of fact, it was easy money. Yeah, this could have been bad if it was all in the sun and we had that bad concrete. Yeah. It could have been bad because that was a lot of joints and messing around. I timed it out 11.45. She should be here in five minutes. Wow. That was absolutely crazy from the time we started till now how high the patio is. A little before and after from right about here. It's crazy where the patio is right now, the elevation from when we got here oh. yo i forgot the broom one square oh. yeah, right here. 
Hey, bring that, bring that back. I forgot a square. Imagine if I forgot and we left, we'd have to tear it out. I've done that before. Really? Yeah, never permanently, but like we're leaving or whatever. I'm like, look right by the garage. <laughs> and it's all hard. You're trying to wet the broom and. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> see, funny, say okay, I'll say funny. funny. Yeah, Daryl, just look in the camera, that's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> say adios, Marcel. Adios. This was the easiest day for me. I don't think I did anything except eat some chicken and I could do that. Because Marcel said I could. How'd you like your first day, Mike? It was great. Was it? Sure. Anything hard? No. No? Marcel, how'd you like to do helper Mike? What? Did you like Mike's work? Yeah. Yeah. Better than yours. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> hey. True statement. I know. That was the best Monday. I told Eric that was the best Crazy. Monday I've had. It was. There was no stress, really, for oh, once. Really? I, I was, yeah, I wasn't yelling, so that's nice. I know, but I was being sarcastic. All right, this one turned out good. We're just waiting on my mom. It's Best Mom Monday. She's about to bring us some food and drinks, which is real nice. It's hot today. It's going to be hot all week. But uh, that's just summer in Wisconsin. And this time of year, we're getting uh, towards the end of July here. This time of year, I start to look out and I kind of see the finish line way out there. Uh, we're going to get in August really quick. And then in September, middle of September, it starts to cool down just a little bit. And then once we get into October, it really starts to cool down. So I can kind of see that end way out there and that keeps me motivated. You guys that work year round down south, I guess I'm so accustomed to having my winters off. I just don't know if I could handle it, not having an end in sight. So we're able to push so hard in the summer um, is because I know there's an end. I know there's rest out there if we can just make it till Thanksgiving. So, all right, I wanna wait here for my mom. I'm gonna get paid from this guy too. He doesn't even know what he owes me. There's a bunch of upcharges here. I hope he takes it okay. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Hi, a couple things. Can you open the garage door? We wanna eat our lunch in there where it's a little cooler. And then you got my money. Oh yeah, I'll give you that. You can date it whenever you, you can date it. I gotta figure it out cause you owe me extra. Yeah. Well, we just finished, so it was a good time. We got a table right here. Yeah. We should carry a table with I got a bike. Yeah, we should. Put it in a trunk truck. BMS? Yeah. Brats. Brats. Corn. This is for you. Thank you. Look at Mike comes the first day. It's Best Mom Monday. Just about ready to hit 200K. He, no wonder he called me yesterday. Him. He was trying to time it just right. So he could get full advantage of everything. I'm not eating the salad? Not today. Not today. Not today. I'll eat a lot of fruit too and uh, corn. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, that was nice. My mom brought us to lunch and we are done for the day. A couple guys are gonna go mow my lawn. Like I said earlier, man, that was a nice Monday to have everything go right on a Monday. That's very unusual, but I'm happy. Hopefully the rest of the week goes good too. All right, tomorrow we're gonna rip out a garage floor, set that up, a little part of a driveway. And then later on in the week, we got a big job. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. 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 Adios.